It is not hard to understand why Northern Arm became a mecca for fishermen and loggers from exploits, the Burnt Islands, and even Twillingate during the 1800s. Northern Arm Brook was a bounteous source of salmon and the heavily forested areas around the brook provided a seemingly unlimited supply of lumber during the winter harvest season. Edward Evans and his family moved into the region about 1877 and established a shipyard. The early settlers soon discovered large tracts of arable land that was suitable for farming, in addition to the lumber that was used for both fuel and shipbuilding. The first Newfoundland census conducted in the area in 1884 noted that there were 109 residents in the newly established community. Many of the families had relocated from exploits and other smaller communities and included family names such as Ball, Langdon, and Manuel, in addition to relatives of the Evans family who moved into Northern Arm from Western Bay. As the shipbuilding thrived and expanded, many of the shipyard employees began to relocate to the community. The 1891 Newfoundland census showed the town population to be 220 residents. A major fire in 1905 destroyed a large portion of the valuable forested lands around Northern Arm, thus creating hardship for the local shipyards. The opening of the paper mill in Grand Falls, Windsor created a new employment boom for the residents of Northern Arm and surrounding communities. A large segment of the early residents in Northern Arm were of the Methodist faith, and they had built their own church and school by 1911. The Salvation Army established roots in the community during the early 1900s, and the Pentecostal Assemblies arrived into the community in the early 1930s. Despite the economic downturn that began in the 1970s, the population of Northern Arm continued to grow slowly as residents from some of the more remote outlying towns began to build homes in the community because of its close proximity to Botwood, the major service center for the region. <music> 